Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Most often in FIFA 23, EA Sports are wanting us to open packs as much and as often as possible to be packing players so that they can make money on the game, right? Well, that's kind of changing right now a little bit because this entire TOTS warm-up promo, as expected, is telling us to hold packs, to save them, and to wait until Team of the Season to open them. So we're going to take a look at all the content that dropped yesterday and what more packs, SBCs, and objectives could be dropping in the next couple of days on this game as we head through what is often called a quiet week or a non-tent week where we don't have any cards and packs but it's all about the upcoming promo after this team of the season now we did get a bunch of packs yesterday and a pretty big tammy abraham yesterday along with some objectives and how did that move the market i want to talk about that and what else could happen today to continue to further the market and could we still make some investments on some specific areas we'll talk all about that more in today's video if it helps you out at all drop a thumbs up on it and of course subscribe if you're new let's start talking about tots warm-up series and the objectives. First of all, we had two different upgrade packs, the 83 plus and the 82 times 10. One of these is good value to me, and one of them is not. Unfortunately, the one that's not that great of value, even though it seems fun, and maybe you do a couple of them, the 82 times 10, to turn in 22 players, two 83 rated squads, uh, into this to get 10 players back, 82 and above. It's just not the best of value. It's about 35,000 coins to get this SBC done. 35,000 coins times three times per day times the next six days, right? You can basically get this SBC done if you did it every single time possible. 21 times you could do it. That would just be so many coins. I think it'd be very tough to get your coin value out of this unless the pack rate on these are somehow insanely good during team of the season. These I would be careful with. Maybe try a couple, maybe get a handful, but I wouldn't go too crazy on them. Instead, what I would maybe do is to go for the cheaper option. Now, the 83 plus upgrade pack, seven rare golds, a lot cheaper. Only about four to 5,000 coins to get this done. Way easier. But also, I think the pack weight on these is probably not going to be that great. But of course, you could hit a team of the season. You could hit some decent fodder out of this since it is a higher rating and it's a lot cheaper. So it's a lot easier to stack up. What I would do is during this week, we've got a lot of time, stack up a couple of both. But if I were to do these, maybe do them a little bit earlier on in the week as well well because of course this is why we invested in the lower tier fodder these are just the beginning of the sbcs that are going to require 83s 84s 85s and make those cards go up as of course you can see two different 83 squad requirements with an 84 specific in that second squad we've got 83s and 84s going up on this game right now and they're probably just going to keep going throughout the week so we'll talk about fodder a little bit later in the video because should we be selling yet I don't think so. I think we should be holding because it'll go higher later, but we'll talk more about it. And then, of course, the big SBC that really impacted the market the most yesterday, Tammy Abraham Road to the final, right? Crazy game on Thursday with Roma now moving into the semifinals, and EA made a massive W with this card. This one moved a ton of striker prices down as everybody was selling strikers to go get this brand new SBC into their club. It's coming in at about 200,000 coins for 200k. This card with the upgrade potential potential that is there too is insane a huge agility and balance boost he is lengthy on certain chem styles with 99 heading great reactions composure shooting stats pace he's four star four star and ea gave him the updated traits like they did all the other road to the finals that they updated just a few hours ago finally um in yesterday's um, game. So that's a nice SBC there, man. And you can tell if you take a look at the market, striker prices have gone down. Let me show you a couple of graphs and uh, Serie A prices links to this brand new um, Tammy Abraham are going up big. Take a look at the Holland man of the match from 315,000 coins Friday morning all the way down to 262 where he is right now. Strikers in that sort of price range that Abraham is in definitely dropped off yesterday. And then, of course, the English links and the Serie A links both moving up like crazy. Tamori was 230k yesterday, spiked all the way to 380 or 350 where he is right now. A huge, huge rise on some of the Serie A and and English um, nation players on this game as people are building squads around this Tammy just because maybe they have Benucci and some other Serie A cards in their team. But also, this card is just looking really, really cracked for the price that he is, and I'm sure he's really good in game. I'm look for looking forward to trying him out 
Now, speaking of lab cards and upgrades, we finally got Road to the final upgrades. Diaby got his plus one, and they added some new traits. Outside foot, flare, finesse shot trait were added to Diaby, making him one of the craziest super subs yet in this game. And guess what? The next upgrade potential for Diaby and Abraham is going to pit those two guys together. The next game, Roma and Leverkusen are going to face off. It's going to be for a five-star weak foot upgrade. Whoever advances to the final of Europa League will get a five-star upgrade and a plus one. I believe there's a plus one and a five-star upgrade. Maybe it's just five-star weak foot. I have to double check. But after that, the winner would be five-star Five star. Imagine a 5-5 five, five Tammy or a 5-5 five, five Diaby. It might be worth doing Tammy Abraham just so that you get at least a 5 star weak foot on one of them and the potential for the 5-5 five, five if that team were to go on and win the Europa League. So that's going to be super crazy there as those two guys battle it out. But it's awesome to kind of have that um, kind of vibe with the in-game FIFA cards as well. Chiesa getting a plus one. He looks cracked uh, with the traits that he got added as well. Barella going to a 92. A nice boost there. Lamella with his upgrade. Phillips with his upgrade. Alaba with his upgrade. And Brahim Diaz. I believe oh, those are all of the live cards that got upgraded uh, just a few hours ago. So some nice upgrades there finally. And of course, EA added the trait. So if you have these cards Make sure you check out the traits that got added. Barella has got uh, finesse shot, long shot, and outside foot trait. I don't know what he had before that. You can kind of take a look at maybe an inform or the gold card. So we already had long shot and dives into tackles. And now he has, what did he have? Finesse shot outside foot and power free kick on Burrell. That card looks really, really cracked. And of course, it is up in price with the Serie A links that are in demand right now, especially after the Abraham SBC yesterday. So that was the SBC content. And then if we go into objectives, there's actually one more SBC to talk about. The daily login, it was exactly as we hoped it would be. A bronze players all you have to turn in every single day. Make sure you log in, even though this is kind of like a quiet promo week, guys. Make sure you log in and get this SBC done every single day if possible. It's out for 28 days and we have to complete it 22 times to get all the way till the end to get a guaranteed Tots player pack, which if you think about it, 22 days from now, we're going to be in the heart of team of the season. We might be at the end of Prem Tots or somewhere around there. And that means this Tots player pack would be something we could open right away or hold for a little bit later on as we go throughout the whole entire team of the season promo. So this is a fat W from EA. Some nice um, other packs in here as well. Some league specific packs. Uh, a one of two 85 plus rare gold players player pick, uh, which is nice. Then you've got some of the like 84 plus 83 packs in there as well. We get a reward each of the first five days. So yesterday we got a reward today, 83 double, you know, eight series. 84 plus it's nice right this is a, just a dub objective there's not much else to say there we had a w kit objective yesterday that kit looks pretty crazy and then also we had two other objectives first for the tots warm-up cup i'm a little underwhelmed by these rewards as i come back and look at them all we get are the prime players packs which are not bad but 10 wins for a premier league prime players pack that is a bit tough at least it is something to grind but i wish there were some more rewards in here Kind of like the Titans Cup, you got rewards for also playing the games, not just winning them. So that's the one thing I was left wanting more from the Tots warm-up. But this warm-up and win objective, I think is not worth it, except if you want to grind out some of these, the, like the bottom five here, the quick feet, controlled midfielder like these, are worth it. Keep three clean sheets, assist four goals. You get decent packs for a little amount of effort. And yes, it is in squad battles or rivals, but it's not like you have to win 30 games to get some of these other cards to get the 100k pack at the end. The 99 game loan players, unless it's something you really, really want, I would not focus on those. I would just focus on these bottom objectives here. So Definitely an objective grind to go through right now. Not crazy, but a decent amount. And then the SBCs, of course, that we had yesterday. You can do a lot of SBCs each and every single day on this game. But, guys, there are going to be more coming. So we'll talk about that here pretty soon. Now, how did this impact the market yesterday? Since there's no cards in packs, a lot of people are not opening packs. If I were you, what I would do right now is I know we need some of that lower tier fodder. A pack like this 80 plus times 5 or maybe the 81 plus double that you get each day from doing the daily login, that to me is a pack that's okay to open just because you're probably not going to get anything super great from it anyway. 81s, 82s, 83s. I'm getting the board right here spanish center attacking mid boom i'm snagging an 83 david silva that's a 1.7k 
card that can go either into an SBC that I want to craft. Boom, look at that, 283s. That's worth opening. I would save the packs that give you more players that are above 83 rated, right? This 80 plus times five, I'm going to open this because this is probably going to give me some more lower rated fodder that I can put into those upgrades to turn into bigger packs. We do hit a Busquets, which is nice, but that's what I would do. Maybe you open your Foot Champs rewards as well because you can get gold rares from that which you can then turn into the 83 plus upgrade and get more packs, right? So save the better packs and maybe open some of the lower tier ones just so that you're getting a little bit of fodder so that you can do more SBCs. Because like I said, there are more packs in the code. There are more SBCs coming that we are going to have to stack up for team of the season. Now, market, like we said, fodder prices are going up. We'll talk about fodder in a bit. Serie A prices are going up, but the meta market in general, pretty stagnant, right? We've been watching these Trophy Titans icons. Some of those that left packs yesterday are going up in value as people are playing Weekend League. And the content yesterday wasn't like super crazy that it really caused the crash, right? The content was just decent and some cards went up just because there's gameplay demand, which in, we mentioned in yesterday's video was very likely to happen. Now there's still more content that is coming and I think there's still more potential for these cards to be fluctuating. So if you have a card that's up a lot in price, like that Blanc, Gerard with the English Lynx is up a decent amount from Trophy Titans uh, team number two. Too, but then like Owen, right? It makes sense because strikers were down specifically Michael Owen being a English striker. People might be selling him to do that Tammy Abraham and to get him in their team. He is still 290,000 coins. So he is kind of down in value and hasn't moved that much. Um, that's kind of how the market feels right now. Some cards up a little bit, some cards down, but in general, if you're trying to trade it was a really, really good time to trade yesterday with rare cards that had good spikes. I bought this Cancelo for 300. I bought this for 360. I bought some Serie A cards here. This was at 245. This was at, you know, 216. This one was at 207 or something like that. So some really good flips on rare cards. This was at 479. This was at um, 450 or something like that. I bought this at 420. So some really good flips in there with just rare cards in general as people are going out and playing Weekend League. But at the same time, guys, we have a lot of demand. Some card prices are still kind of dropping off a little bit, whether it's strikers affected by Tammy or just in the market in general. There's still cards that are down a little bit. Um, and, you know, we have a lot of coin drain that's going to happen this week. As we get more SBCs, as fodder continues to go up and people are not opening packs, that's just going to continue to drain coins off of this market. And that is another reason why prices could still drop a little bit lower heading throughout the weekend into the early parts of next week. As we get closer to team of the season, maybe a little bit more selling as well as people finish off their weekend league this weekend and say, I'm going to sell some cards just before team of the season to get my coins. Now, it's going to take more content, I think, to really make the market have a true kind of like last bit of a drop or a little bit more of a panic, right? We talked about that in yesterday's video as well. That's what we're looking for, for a buy time and a buy opportunity for maybe some of these cards that we want for our team. So whether it's an icon pack that would come out later on this weekend, potentially, or some other sort of upgrade SBC that EA could drop, that's the sort of like panic or situation that we are waiting for to see card prices take kind of a nosedive just for like a day or so. That could be our opportunity to get in with some of these investments or some of these buys for for our teams but the market was pretty slow yesterday so there wasn't a ton of opportunities for that but like i said really really good time to trade i have been trading with cards right now watching prices that was a crazy cheap bid on on rashford there um alaba is kind of low after he got upgraded 863 just continue to watch these rare cards and watch the market because there is money to be made on the quick flips now i said we we're going to talk about fodder let's talk about SBC fodder because some of these cards as well are up in price as expected. 83 is 1.7k per card. As we saw, double 83 squad requirements dropped yesterday. 84s rising above 4,000 coins. 85s about the same. 86s, 87s, 88s. Your higher tier fodder actually moved really well yesterday. And I think it was due to the fact that A, there's no supply, and B, Two SBCs refresh. We talked about it, right? The 87 plus hero player pick 
and the 87 plus mixed campaign player pick yesterday. I think we're very, very popular SBC since the content elsewhere yesterday wasn't that amazing. A lot of people were out doing those squads and that made this higher to middle tier fodder go up, right? 87s are at 27K, 88s, 32,000 coins. War a rise for those. 89s, 43K, really some nice rise on fodder on that higher tier as well with those packs that were dropped. Again, if the hero player pick goes away and comes back with something even better on Sunday, could they go a bit higher? Yes, but ultimately, like we said, this is a big time coin drain leak. If you have or a week, not a leak, but if you have a lot of high rated fodder that you bought yesterday, you invested in for the rise, I would definitely still look to sell that at some point before team the season because with all the tots cards that will come out, that fodder will go down. But maybe we have an opportunity if fodder goes down a little bit today to look for an investment because like I said, that 87 plus hero player pick is going away tomorrow on Sunday. And I would imagine it's going to get replaced by some other sort of upgrade pack by EA Sports. Now let's talk about content today on Saturday. Is it going to be a little bit more exciting than yesterday? Maybe. We had the Ashley Cole on Thursday. This is the other SBC leak that we have at the moment, Nesta. And I'm being very careful with center backs. They They've been slammed recently, right? Benucci, Carlos Alberto. I'm so curious to know what EA is going to do for the value of this Nesta SBC. It's been leaked for a couple of days now. It could obviously be today on this game. It would be kind of a perfect day, in my opinion, for EA to drop an SBC like this. I believe he's around 600,000 coins. Oh, he's up even a little bit on the market. How much is Nesta? 650. Wow, he's up actually like 100k from where he was. Keep an eye on his card price today because if the SBC is good value, that could drop center backs down even more even though they're already in the mud if he does drop because this would be a card that I think a decent amount of people would want to go and craft just because it's going to be the most usable and best version of Nesta in this game, especially if it's for a good price. It would link to Benucci, all the other Italian and Serie A links going around right now. So watch out for that today as a part of content. Also, today's Saturdays, always store pack content on Saturdays. If you take a look in the store, we did have a couple of those Encore packs that were added to the code um, earlier in the week. They were dropped, the Encore Foundations and the Premium Encore Pack. But we have two more of those that could potentially be coming today. And we said, right, EA does not want us to open packs around, right? They want us to save. But for those of you that are really wanting to open packs, and this is just where EA has been focusing this year on putting out crazy packs that we've never seen before. And I think they're making a ton of money because these packs are fun and a lot of people are doing them. These Encore packs give you special cards and it gives you that feeling of packing a special card and a little bit of that gamble feeling, even though there's not a new promo in packs. These are here, and a lot of people are going to end up doing them. We opened a couple on stream yesterday. Didn't really hit anything crazy, but I think we're going to see some more of these today. And the other ones we're going to see today are probably going to be pretty expensive. The premium Encore pack was dropped yesterday with 30 players in it. That was a 300,000 coin pack. And then we have the Encore pack, which is similar, uh, probably a little bit cheaper than 300K, maybe like 200 or 250K, because it does only have one 86 plus player from the promo teams inside of it. But then you also have, if I can find it, you've got the Elite Encore pack, which is 25 rare gold players, but you get three promo cards, 87 plus from those listed promos. I think that one might be a 400K pack. It's going to be one that I think a lot of people will be very interested in. Now, the other pack that's in the code here is an 86 double players pack. This is also a SBC that could potentially be dropping today on this game. We had this SBC last year as well during the warm-up series and it was one that we could do on repeat it was like either every day or every couple of days and that one for sure would be an spc that you would want to keep an eye on doing but also it's one that i think would move fodder as well i could see an 86 double spc potentially requiring some 84s 85s and that would make these cards specifically go up right 85s didn't really move that much i was buying 85s club stocking at right around 9.9 to 10k that spc right there if it were to drop today could absolutely make card prices go up. So watch out for that on the game today. And like I said with fodder, I would not be selling it right now. If you bought 83s at like 1,000 coins or below, or maybe some of you guys are like unassigned. Yesterday, somebody in the stream said they went 15 million coins worth of 
83s they invested. It took them like 12 days or something crazy like that. Like that's, that's wild. But if you invested in 83s on any budget or however many you bought, I would not be selling these yet. Let them rise and sell them later on into next week when the demand is at its peak and the supply is at its lowest as people are not opening packs because team of the season is right around the corner. So hold fodder, list it for lazies if you want to, but list it for very high lazies because some of these prices, guys, on fodder, it's going to get crazy. That's why yesterday I stocked completely my transfer list about as full as I could get it. You see the 85s here. You see the 84s. I bought about two of every single 83 and 84, put them on my transfer list, a lot of the 85s as well. I'm stocked up and ready to go. I'm probably still going to run out of fodder by the end of the week, but I have plenty of enough of it there to at least keep me going for a while and expect more SBCs, maybe expect some more objectives uh, because we will be getting more warm-up series content. Those 81 times 11 SBCs have not been added. Those 81 times 11 packs, those are other packs that we expect to see because they're added to the code. We don't even know where those are going to take place yet on this game. So whether that's SBCs that drop today, whether they're spaced out, whatever the case may be, watch for more objective and SBC-based content today and make sure you get that daily login done. And uh, good luck with your weekend league if you're playing weekend league games. Good luck with your cup if you're playing the cup games. Other than that, um, maybe potential for man of the match cards today. I feel like it might be a small drop of man of the matches if they do any at all. We'll have to see if they do that. So just keep an eye out for that. That maybe could be something that's in packs that it could try to like i guess get us to open packs for but most likely i would not expect too much other than that and the team of the week at the very most so that's the video for today guys if you did enjoy drop a thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and of course subscribe if you're new it's been nathan account i'll catch you guys tomorrow peace out